always fun to play around with classic recipes. So I'm going to take the traditional recipe for Peking duck and I'm going to use chicken. These are my chicken and hoisin pancakes. It works a treat. First of all, let's make the pancakes. This is based on the traditional French style pancakes, but to make them a little bit Chinese inspired, I'm going to be using some five spice. So 250 grams of plain flour and into this I'll add a generous pinch of five spice. In the five spice there's some star anise, some clove, white peppers. In these crepes we need a generous pinch of salt and we'll just mix that up and just make a well in the centre and we can start adding the eggs. Now I need three whole eggs for this recipe and we'll break them in. Don't get me wrong, this recipe is fantastic with a classic duck, but because chicken is so readily available, it means you can make this recipe more often. Now I'm just going to break up these eggs and you can see I'm just gathering very slowly the sides of the flour. This ensures that we don't get any lumps in our batter. So little by little, bring in the sides and now I'll add the milk. Now we'll just drizzle the milk in, gradually add that milk. Now as you pour it in, you'll see that it changed. It almost looks like a pancake batter, but when you're making crepes, it needs to be as thin as pouring cream. So that's a good indication of how much milk you need. See at this stage, it's very thick. That's not going to produce nice, thin, handkerchief style crepes. So a little bit more milk. And then again, just mix that in. Just have a look at that. See how that resembles pouring cream? That's what we're looking for. Now, I'll just put that to the side for now and let's get on to the chicken because it's going to take about 50 minutes to cook. Usually, when you bring it home, it'll be in a pack just like this, but I want that skin to be super crispy and the best way to do that is take it out of the pack, place it in the tray. I've put it in a rack just to ensure that it's crispy all over and you can see the skin is super dry because moisture is the enemy of crackling, even chicken crackling. When you put it in the fridge to air dry, just make sure you don't put any cling film on it. Now we need to just add a little bit of oil, vegetable oil's fine, and just brush it lightly over it. We don't want to drench it in oil whatsoever. Now I'll season it quite generously with some salt. We talk about chicken crackling, salt is also going to help give us that real crispy finish. Another thing to remember when you're cooking a whole chicken like this, bring it out of the fridge at least half an hour before roasting it, just so it comes to room temperature. This is going to cook for one hour at 190 degrees. Now while the lovely chook is cooking in the oven, we can get a head start on making these crepes. They'll actually hold quite nicely for a few hours. So I've just got a crepe pan here. These work a treat. Just makes it so much easier to move the crepe batter around the pan and to flip. A little bit of olive oil in the pan. And just drizzle it around. I always say the first crepe never works and I guess the reason for that is you're just getting the feeling of how much batter you need for the pan. Use a ladle and I'll fill it up about three quarters full and then I'll just tap it down on the batter just to make sure there's no drips and then working from the centre add the crepe batter and then just constantly turn the pan and we'll get one nice thin layer of batter. Oh, I can already smell that five spice in that batter. All right, now I'm just going to allow that to set. It won't take long. As soon as it starts to detach from the base, it's ready to flip. Now I'm going to make a few more of these and then I'll just cover them with some cling film and we'll wait for the chook to finish cooking. So happy with this chook. I brought it out of the oven about 20 minutes ago and I've just allowed it to rest and have a look at this skin. It's super crispy and it's blistered. It's absolutely perfect. Now this is a dish for entertaining. So I love to just take this whole to the table and then carve the chicken once everyone is seated. So 
That's exactly how I'll present it. I'll take the chicken out of the dish and carefully place it on a large platter. And then classic condiments that go with the Peking duck, which I'll do also for this Peking style chicken. Cucumbers, and we want battens of cucumbers, and that'll be the filling for the crepes. I'm just going to cut them into long strips first. And because my crepes are quite large, I want these to be really long so you can fill it up quite nicely. In the past, I've done mini crepes and they're also fantastic if you want to make this into a canapé version. All right, I'll gather all of this cucumber and we'll place that onto our platter. And now for some spring onions. We'll just cut them roughly into the same size as our cucumber and then cut them in half. Just go straight down the centre. And then again, we'll just cut them into nice long strips. If you want to jazz this up a little bit more, you could also add lots of fresh Asian style herbs. All right, this can go next to our beautiful cucumber. Now for the sauce, you have to have some hoisin, which is a plum sauce, and we want to be quite generous with this. So we'll just fill up a bowl, quite a lot. And now for the crepes, you can see how perfectly thin they are. You can almost see through them. That's how you want them because you just want it to be the carrier of the chicken, the hoisin sauce and the cucumbers. I like to present these just in triangles, just lightly folded so everyone can take their individual one, unwrap it at the table and then fill it with some beautiful tender chicken and dress it with some hoisin sauce. And a few more of these five spice crepes. You know, it's really nice to be creative in the kitchen. It gives you that freedom to take ideas just like Peking Duck and then transform it with something else. In this case, chicken, and it works a treat every single time.